you're not moving into uh, new parameters in your life with that because it's opening up to the, the greatness of self, the wonderful self, and the fantastic ment of self where that is concerned. Because what you are doing now, dear ones, as you transition from your month of January into your month of February in the year of 2018, where that is concerned, is now opening up to a greater depth of love of self where that is concerned. Because as you move through your year of 2018 in increments, and the increments meaning month by month by month where that is concerned, you are moving to a greatness or a grander, grander ment of self or a wonderfulness of self where that is concerned. So it is most important, dear ones, uh, that as you make your transition from the month of January, where, dear ones, your month of January was a period of transition from your year of 2017 into your year of 2018. In many ways, your month of January was about um, cleaning up old aspects of your life where that is concerned, looking at old aspects of life, moving energetically into a new aspect of yourself where that is concerned. Because your year of 2017 was about moving to the depth of your truth, identifying the depth of your truth and, and who you are within that truth where that is concerned. Year of 2018 is about expanding upon that and moving into a greatness of his and moving into a great greater expression of your truth and bringing out the modalities the endeavors your talents gifts and abilities where that is because out into the world in 2018 all on the pathway of the continuing of creating a new collective consciousness where that is concerned a collective consciousness of peace community harmony and equality where that is concerned so as you move into your month of february it is about moving into and beginning a pathway into solidifying the foundation of self-love where that is concerned. Moving into a greater sense of self-love where that is concerned and moving deeper into self-love where that is concerned where in many ways, dear ones, what each and every one of you are doing is now fully beginning to release the attachments that you have in relationships and the attachments that you have to the third dimensional realm where that is concerned. So you can now stand fully in the empowerment of self where that is concerned, the greatness of self and moving into the divine soul plan where that is concerned. So in many ways, dear one, what we are asking you to do in your month of February where that is concerned is moving deeper into your truth and now beginning to fully identify yourself with your truth where that is concerned. Many have had a challenge of identifying what your truth is and who you are within that truth where that is concerned. And it's been it's now about identifying yourself with that truth. Identifying you where you are on your pathway in this third dimensional realm where that is concerned. In many ways, now taking stock of what it is you say you want where that is concerned and how in many ways many are shifting their lives from the old to the new where that is concerned. So the question we have for each and every one of you is uh, what is the old that you have been releasing in your life and are you still in a place of status quo in your life? Are you still in a place of of struggling to survive life where that is concerned? We have concern. We have mentioned this many, many times where that is concerned, but many are still moving into that place of struggling to survive life or in many ways trying to get to a place and not sure where they are trying to get to where that is concerned. So in many ways what is transpiring now as you move into your month of February where that is concerned is moving into a greater sense of loving, honoring, and valuing you where that is concerned. And you may have heard this many times as we have brought this to you many times, but it is most important now, dear ones, to continually be in a place of of loving, honoring, and valuing you. And we mean by that, dear ones, many can vacillate between judgment and shame of self honoring and valuing yourself. Moving from judgment and shame to honoring and valuing self. It's now time, dear one, as you move through your year of 2018 to move into a more consistent self. A more consistent self sense of self where that is concerned. I'm moving into a more consistent love of self where that is concerned. So we ask you to, in your month of February, in many ways, dear one, it is about now looking at yourself, but looking at yourself or looking in the mirror at all the wonderful aspects of yourself. Many continually look at themselves, quite possibly thinking about what they need to fix. What are my challenges about me? What is transpiring in my life? What do I need to work on? And that is all well and good, dear ones. It is most important to continue that process. But what we're asking you to do in this month of February is to shift your focus to what is wonderful about you. So we ask each and every one of you to begin to make a list of what is wonderful about you. What do you love about you? What do you honor and value about you in the beingness of self? 
So it is about now a- a- adding to the foundation of you where that is concerned. So what is wonderful about each and every one of you? What are your talents and gifts? What are your endeavors? What is your modality? What, dear ones, have you accomplished in the year of 2017 or even accomplished in your month of January? Where sense of self is concern. We are not speaking about what you have accomplished out in the linear third dimensional realm. We are asking you about what you have accomplished where sense of self is concerned. Meaning, have you moved to a greater sense of loving, honoring, and valuing you? Have you moved to a new level of consciousness and awareness of your truth? Are you opening your heart space to receive love? Are you opening your heart space to express yourself to the world? To stand in the empowerment of self and express yourself to the world? Where are you within all of this, dear ones? Or you're still looking at yourself, judging and shaming yourself, quite possibly thinking you need to fix yourself and focusing your attention on the aspects of yourself that you have challenges with. As we said earlier, dear ones, this is all well and good in its own time where that is concerned. But as you move into your month of February, it is now about solidifying the foundation of the empowered self. And we ask you, dear ones, to shift the focus, raise the resonance, as it were, to you. So what is it about you that raises your resonance? What is it about you that you love, honor, and value? Because as you move through your month of February, dear ones, and move to your next month and your next month through your year of 2018, it is about now solidifying the depth and breadth of who you are. Because, dear ones, it's most important that as you move forward in your year of 2018, To create a new collective consciousness, we're asking you the question, what is the consciousness of you? What is the collective consciousness within you? Is it love, peace, community, harmony, and equality? You see, dear ones, it is now about, dear ones, moving into a greater foundation of the depth and breadth of you. It is most important, dear ones, that you move through your month of February counting in your vernacular your blessings. Move into gratitude of you. So what are you grateful for about you? What, dear ones, are you grateful for about you? Quite possibly, you moved into the depth and breadth of your heart space. So as you move through your month of February, dear ones, we ask you to open your heart space and begin to receive love. Many move stridently, through your day, through your week, through your month, through your year, minute by minute, moment by moment, asserting yourselves. Asserting yourselves to do something, to create something, to move out into the world, doing, doing, and doing. The year of 2018 is moving, dear ones, into the full aspect of being who you are. So we ask you, dear ones, in your month of February, to look where you're continually doing. What am I doing? What am I continually doing? Is there a balance of being and doing? It is most important now, dear ones, as your year of 2018 is moving from doing to fully being who you are. From doing and the old attachments, the old aspects, the old behaviors of doing. Doing to occupy yourself. Doing to simply do. Doing to get love. Doing this. Doing that. So it's about identifying what your old behavior of doing is and moving into the beingness of yourself. So as you move through that, you can then begin to do once again in a healthy manner by choosing what it is you want to lend your energy to in the doing. So it's about moving from doing to being to doing, but looking at the old aspects of doing. Why did you do this? What are you continually doing? Where are you expending energy into doing outside of yourself and realizing that as you expend that energy, quite possibly it is not getting you anywhere. But you are doing based upon an old behavior. 
an old habit, an old pattern, an old ritual of doing. I must do to get this. I must continually exert my energy outside of myself and do this, quite possibly to avoid yourself, quite possibly to avoid your feelings. So we ask you in your month of February, dear ones, to look at that as well. Where are you continually doing outside of yourself, expending, exhausting an inordinate amount of energy, and then closing down your heart space, where you are moving, dear ones, into the expending of energy, and then your heart space shuts down, or you shut down, and then you close off receiving love or receiving energy. So we ask you to look at, dear ones, where are you now receiving love? And look at the relationships that you are in, quite possibly doing in those relationships. And look at these relationships and ask yourself, is there a balance of giving and receiving? Are you opening yourself to receive love? And as you stand in that place, dear ones, are you being you in that moment? So what we ask you to do, dear ones, is open your heart space to receive love. And then be with what feelings surface within that. It is now time, dear ones, to look at yourself and honor and value you. And now look in your month of February at you, being in the wonderfulness of you. It is time now, dear ones, to begin to receive you. Receive who you are. Can you fully receive you? Can you fully receive love from you? So we ask each and every one of you, what are you giving to yourself? So we ask you in this month of February, dear ones, as you move through uh, the month, is to give to yourself. Are you giving yourself time during the day to be with yourself? And in the moments of your meditation of being with yourself, praising yourself, honoring yourself, valuing yourself, quite possibly at the end of the day when you look at your day and see what transpired during the day, many will see quite possibly, well, I made this mistake, well, I did that, I shouldn't have done that, I need to look in the mirror with that. That is all well and good, dear ones. But is most important, dear ones, in your quiet time with yourself, and are you giving yourself the quiet time with yourself? Beginning to praise yourself. Connecting with that inner child. And being with that inner child. And beginning to set up a ritual, a habit, a pattern of praising yourself. Of moving to a place, dear ones, of praising you for what you are doing, opening your heart space, and beginning to receive that. So an exercise that we'd like to give you for this month of February is simply walking over to a mirror, looking at yourself in the mirror, and simply saying to yourself, eyes wide open, looking directly at you, I love you. I honor and value you, and I honor and value the truth of who you are. It is most important, dear ones, to build this and fortify this foundation. And as we speak to you at this wonderful and most glorious time, many feelings are coming up in each and every one of you. Many questions are coming up in your mental body. Simply, at this moment in time, dear ones, ask yourself, what am I feeling? It is most important now, dear ones, as you move through your month of February to begin to give to you whatever it is that you need that raises your resonance and vibration. It is not about giving yourself something, dear one, that will suppress and repress what you are transpiring through. If something is coming up, if feeling is coming up and you're having challenges, it is time to love yourself with compassion where you are. So in many ways, your month of February, dear one, is about moving into greater aspects of truth. And what you'll be seeing in the world outside of you is this. You will be seeing more truth being revealed outside of yourself. What was most important to understand, dear ones, is that the truth of you will be reflected outside of you now. 
In your year of 2017, we had asked you many times to look outside of yourself in the third dimensional realm, what is transpiring outside of yourself in the world, in the third dimensional realm, in the low, dense vibrational aspects of the third dimensional realm, and ask yourself, how does that make you feel? Does it resonate or doesn't it resonate? Many now are transitioning from looking at what is transpiring in the world and having it trigger them to beginning to accept that and now respond to it as opposed to fight it. So we ask you now, dear ones, to look outside of you in the third dimension realm. Ask yourself, how do you feel about what is transpiring? Quite possibly the edge or the sharpest feeling of the trigger is wearing off. And you are realizing now that you are powerful, that you can create a new aspects of collective consciousness. It is time now, dear ones, to release the attachments to the old world of form outside of you. Release the doing, the inordinate amount of expending of energy that simply, dear ones, exhausts your energetic system. It is time to replenish. We ask you, dear ones, to look at where you are, where you are within the depth and breadth of yourself. Look outside of yourself in the third dimension realm and see if anything has changed. Are you still reacting to what is transpiring in the third dimensional realm? It is most important now, dear ones, as you move through your month of February, each and every one of you who have various modalities and endeavors have moved to a space of enlightenment within the depth and breadth of their heart space to now bring your modalities to the world to simply support and guide others. It is most important, dear ones, for you who have risen to a place of awareness and consciousness of yourself in relationship to what is transpiring in the third dimensional realm, where you have awoken to the depth and breadth of the power within you, the multidimensional being that you are. In many ways, dear one, it is up to each and every one of you to take the responsibility to move to others, enlighten them, work with them, guide and support them so they can awaken to the greatness of who they are.